Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to some more Steam World build today. We, uh, well, we're in we're in mine level two, and uh, we're working on the rocket to escape this planet, this place, if you will. And uh, yeah, we gotta get we gotta we gotta get some more pieces. We gotta get some more things. We gotta get some things upgraded, and we gotta build even. We gotta dig deeper. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully, see if we can get a rocket built. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for coming out. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. So, like I said, we have a, a bustling city going here. Now, what I need to do is I need to get some Arista bots. And the reason for that is because we already have a, we have our, our first level in mind here. First level's looking pretty good. Stuff's going on, you know, they're getting the resources, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the second level, we need some guards. Yeah, we need to get some guard quarters. And we need uh, 80 Arista bots. So... We're going to go ahead, we're going to head up here, and we're going to look to see what we need for Aristobots. So, I know we have some right here and right here. Essentially, we're going to need, it looks like eight of these residences in total in order to get this going. So, let's go ahead and let's see what we can do here. Let's see. We got one, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the plastics. The plastics. Okay, hold on. So, let's go over here and see what we got going on for plastics. So... Uh, we already have that. Do we have the polymersion plant? What does the polymersion plant look like? Oh, we do not have the polymersion plant. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's get some roads in here. And, uh, let's get the polymersion plant built. We'll go ahead and set that. You know what? We're gonna need another warehouse in here as well. So, let's go ahead and let's get a warehouse here. Let's get a pol- Oh, you know what? The polymersion plant, that's gonna have to be down here in order to cover our Aristobot area, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, it is indeed. Okay, hold on, let's go ahead and expand that out like that. And we'll grab this guy. And that should cover, yeah, that'll cover that. Okay, so we'll throw that there. That's our polar immersion plant, and then we're gonna need our waxing shop, which we, we already have our waxing shop, right? Do we not have the waxing shop yet? I thought we already had the waxing shop. I guess we do not have a waxing shop either. That's, uh, well, that's gonna have to get fixed like right now. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and place the waxing shop right there. That'll get built. Uh, we need some boards for that. Boards will get made. Perfect, looks good. So we'll have those two. And then we'll be able to go ahead and get some more upgrades going. So we'll let those do their thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start expanding the mine shaft out here a little bit and see if we can't find some more goodies. All right, so we got our aristocrats moving in. We got eight houses here. I had to be careful. Uh, I I got to be careful here because workers, total workers, I have zero available workers right now, three available engineers, and 60 available aristocrats. So we probably should actually go ahead and throw in some more worker housing here to uh, just to make sure that we're safe <laughs> and we have everything we need. Uh, you know what? Actually, can I sneak one down in here? Perfect. Okay, so get a couple in there, and then um, we got a couple engineer houses over here. All right, so that's all looking good. So now we have um, 60 aristocrats. We need 80 total, so we're going to have to wait for those guys to move in, but things are looking good. Um, now we also unlocked sheriff's office, a diesel plant, and a hat maker, so that's exciting. Oh, and what do you know? The, arist the aristocrats need diesel and a hat maker and a sheriff to, uh, to be in the area. Fantastic. Oh, I'm just so glad... Oh, I'm so glad that they want those in the area with them. Oh. We might have to move our regular residential people out somewhere else. So it's actually kind of neat. I was looking here to see the requirements for these guys. So the needs are a couple of the items from the previous tier. So the Aristobots only need, I think it's the, uh, the moonshine and water that is needed from the engineers. Oh, and the, um, and the wash service. And then from there, the only needs that are the same are, what is it, coal? Is it coal and steam and water? I think that's it. No, it's not even, it's just, it's, it's charcoal. It's just charcoal. So I was trying to, oh, and uh, in a general store. So I was trying to think how I could phase these how I can make housing that would make these uh, work a little bit better. And the only thing I can think is basically the housing you start with is the housing and like your stores and stuff like that are gonna have to move too. Cause like this general store, these guys don't need a general store here. So this general store doesn't really need to be there anymore. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to think like how you progress over time. So anyways, it's interesting. It's interesting, okay? Um, all right, so let's head back down to the mines because 
We should have guard quarters, yes. Oh, we need gold. Well, darn, when we need gold, we need gold. Let's go ahead and see if we can't dig out some gold here. Oh man, I actually don't see a whole lot of gold. Uh, we might actually have to start buying gold. So there's those, let's go ahead and grab those as well. Let's pop up to the next level here. Do we have any gold left over? <laughs> oh, we got a little bit. Oh my gosh, we have some new items as well. All right, so we got our guard quarters here, but we also have our armory. So we need to build an armory and then we have a thumper. Uh, scares away dangerous ground worms that look in, lurk in the ground. The thumper will also slow down and damage any enemies within its range. And then we also have a grenade turret. This fires uh, explosive shots with great accuracy. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that is going to be a very interesting to say the least. So let's get some guard quarters in here to start with. And how many guards does that give us? That gives us four guards. Okay, so... Now I wonder if, so we haven't had any issues yet. I wonder if I need to just put something through here. Have miners, prospectors, minor mechanics, and guards. Look at that. Let's go ahead and have the guards bust this down. I wanna see what's gonna happen here. Oh, okay. Oh, holy moly. Look at him go, what is that thing? Oh, that thing is nasty. Um, okay. So it looks like we might need to get an armory in here. How much is the armory? Ooh, the armory is expensive. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if I wanted an armory and then I wanted a... What does a grenade turret do? As far as explosive shots with great accuracy. Looks like the thumper is cheaper. The thumper will also slow down and damage any enemies within its range. Okay, I don't know. You know what? We're going to leave it. I don't think we need it right this very second. I'm going to go ahead and open these guys up. All right, so it looks like we've got ourselves... Oh, yeah, we got some things right here. All right. Let's go ahead and let's pop that down, pop that down. Looks like we've got our... Ooh, a first big chest. And our first switch. Okay, so this might be why we want a grenade launcher is when we're getting into the new areas like this. When we have all of these, like, enemy soil things popping in. What is that? Oh! <gasps> Conveyor belt connected to an extractor and then connected to the mine shaft. It will automatically ferry resources up to the city. Oh my gosh, we have automation. Let's go. All right, we're going to put up a grenade launcher right here. And then we're going to go ahead and dig out this whole area. Once that's up, and we're going to see how this goes. All right, it's up. Let's do it. Get in there, boys. We got some enemy soil that we have to worry about, but that's okay. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, they're gonna run away. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so they only, as soon as they see an enemy, they run. Got it. Very cool. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, look at the pits. Oh, the nasty pit of death. Okay. So it looks like we're heading this way for the door. Oh man. This is actually this was actually I feel like a good spot for this guy. You know what? We had an upgrade actually. Uh let's see. If we go to edit, we have a flamethrower. Burns creep and enemies. Recruitment plus three. Plus 150 health bonus. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, there's the mine shaft. There's our next mine shaft right there. Haha, <laughs> we got we got super lucky. We need a carbide drill bits to dig through the granite. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is super exciting. So we already know where our next mine shaft is. All right, so we need to go ahead and we need to get some diesel going in here. So we have oil coming from the uh, the the pl or the mine. We have plastic tubes coming from the mine. So we need to get ourselves an oil refinery, which is something new and exciting. Uh, so we're gonna place that there, and then we need to get ourselves a diesel plant. So let's go ahead and extend this out here, and then the diesel plant. Let's see what can we do. Can we sneak this in? Not right there, darn. All right, if we place it in there, how far is that gonna reach? Yeah, it'll reach a decent amount. Cause this is a requirement for the Aristobots as well. Could place it in right here. You know what, we'll just place it in here. That'll be, that'll be fine for now. And then for a hat maker, we need sand, uh, glass, wool spinner, and then a hat maker. We can actually do that right over here. All right, and then there's our hat maker. Oh, fantastic. All right, so that's gonna knock out those two benefits and that's gonna give their 
um, the houses up to 22 a piece. That'll be really nice. But it says we're missing 26 workers. It'll it'll ha it'll be fine. We'll we'll get it figured out. <laughs> um, actually, I might need to make another house. These houses right here could get upgraded, but you know what? I need to put more houses in over here. So this is what we need to do. Basically, I have to start by adding more of these regular houses. And then we need to upgrade those to engineers. Actually, you know what? I might have to upgrade some of these to engineer houses. We'll do that. And then we're going to have to get some more worker houses here. So let's go ahead and get our paved road extended. A couple more of those. We should be good there. All right. So that looks good. That, that should work. And let's get this one of these houses. I can't remember which one actually... I was trying to remember, like, I have stuff over here that's reaching to this area, and then I have stuff over here that's reaching. I think this house will be fine. We'll see what happens. All right, that looks pretty good. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get things unlocked so that way we can get our next um, our next tool type. Uh, steam furnace is now available. The steam furnace boosts the efficiency of your refineries when placed nearby. That's super cool. Uh, but as you can see, in order to continue on, we kind of need um, we need some better uh, digging tools. So that we can't dig because it says we need carbide drill bits to dig through granite. So I got to figure out how to get carbide drill bits. And then we found this. There's a big nasty hiding right there. It's like a sarlacc pit. Ooh, Ooh it's going to be gross. But I don't know how to get the um, upgraded drill bits. So that's what we're looking for right now. I'm trying to kind of figure that out. Oh, carburizing plant. There it is. Carburizing plant uh, right there. So the carburizing plant, I don't believe, is a necessity for this. Nope. So only the cuisine. So the steam furnace and the carburizing plant, those can be next to each other. So we'll have water, forester, charcoal kiln, steam furnace. And this is a refinery, right? Yeah, this is oil refinery. You know what, before we get going any further, let's make, let's make a road going down here. That'll work. And then let's grab our steam furnace, place that there. And then our carburizing plant. So we have, we actually already have an oil refinery. So we'll place that there. That looks pretty good. All right. So now what we need is we probably need we probably need another charcoal kiln. Yeah, yeah we're getting close. And we need more forestry, which means we're going to need more more workers. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So you know what? I don't even think we have. Do we have any oil being harvested whatsoever? I don't think we have any oil yet. So let's get into here. Oil extractor. Let's get an oil extractor going because I, I think that's our first one. And let's see. Do we have any more? I don't think we have oil up here. I'm pretty sure oil is only down here. Let's see if we have any oil around here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we have so many enemies over here. Oh, yeah, that's probably oil right there. Okay, we could probably we could actually get to that one. We gotta be careful here though. So let's do this. Let's get these mined out here. And then we'll go ahead and place up I um we'll go ahead and place up a grenade turret. Oh, I don't have very many I don't have tools. Maybe a thumper? Yeah, I'll place a thumper down. And then we'll go ahead and break this bad boy open here. Alright, here come the worms. Here comes the things. Get on boys. Very nice. Okay, so yes, there was oil right there. Fantastic. You know what? Since we have that going, let's go ahead and let's get as much of this... Uh, maybe as much of this cleared out as possible. Uh-oh. We've got... Cave-in. Alright, that, that area cleared out real nice. Ooh! New milestone unlocked, baby. Let's go. So, let's see. We've got our mine shaft here. It looks like we actually have the visual of the two rocket pieces. Which is very nice. Uh, that thing is not very nice. So we got another oil thing here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Throw an oil extractor on there. We also have another water. Might as well get another water extractor. Well, we don't have enough tools for that. <laughs> All right, I've been busy at work uh, making, just basically expanding everything. Um, everything's just, our production just kind of overall needed more of everything so i'm um, kind of working on that and i built like basically a whole second city over here <laughs> so we got this whole second city kind of like up and running here all of this stuff you know kind of expanding into uh, a little bit of everything but what i need to do is i actually we got some we got some conveyor belts here 
And I want to play with those because if we get conveyor belts, that means we need less people up here actually working, uh, collecting stuff. So what I want to do is I want to try to bring everything to the mine shaft and kind of see how this goes here. So this is our mine shaft. Um, let's start with this one right here because it's so close and we can kind of just see how it works, I guess. So um, I guess can we, oh, we can't place them on these. So we're going to have to get rid of those if we want to do that. Okay. And then, well, I guess we could start right here. So basically we go like this and like that. Okay. So that will place those on there. Now, can I connect in through something else? So like, let's say we grab this guy and then we go from there. Oh, we can't go across this. Okay. Hold on. So let's dig out those. And the reason I want to do this is, like I said, if we get these going, then I don't need so many people up here working. So I can actually make this a little bit smaller and uh, kind of see how that goes. So let's see. Infrastructure this guy. And place it into there. That should. Because that should then take the water automatically to the surface. So we don't have to have somebody running. Now, it is slower. Because, like, well, depending on how far away it is, I guess it's slower. But see how much, see that? We don't have to do, oh, my gosh, that's nice. That's actually super nice. Okay, so then basically I can do the same thing here. Connect that into there. And basically go through and connect everything into, uh, basically connect everything in these conveyor belts. Oh, that's so nice. Because I just had a thing saying I didn't have enough people uh, in the dusty caverns, but I'm not gonna need I'm not gonna need that many more people because if I if I just hook up everything via machines, we should be fine. All right, so we are gonna have to do something here. So we're gonna. Um, I sure want to destroy these room tiles. Yes. We're gonna pop these off here. The reason we're doing this is so that way we can get a conveyor running through here. Okay, so we should be able to run a conveyor from there, grab these, bring it over, we can get rid of that one. Okay, so that'll work. So then what we're gonna need to do is grab a bridge, like that, and then we can grab our conveyor belt, run it there, there, and to there. That'll work, and then we can put this one straight into that, this one into that, Perfect. The room is too small. It needs to be at least nine tiles benefit. Okay. So, but this is the thing is we're not going to need, we don't need this many prospectors in here anymore because we're using belts now. We got automation, baby. Yes. Yes, we do indeed. Now, is this bringing stuff to the surface faster? I don't know. Um, uh oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Now, do I want to get everything else connected? These these belts aren't the cheapest thing in the world, but they're also not super terrible. They do take plastic, so we are utilizing plastic for that, but that's kind of okay. Like I said, we are, um, by doing this, we're, we're requiring less people or less bots, if you will. Okay, so we've got, wait a second. Are our guys bringing up stuff from this mine shaft and then to the, to the next mine shaft? Is that how stuff's getting up here? No way. No, because it, it doesn't look like anything. No, there's no there's no guys running through here. Okay. I was, I was like, are you serious? Is that is that seriously how this is working? <gasps> Holy moly. All right, let's kind of, we're going to work our way backwards here uh, and just trying to get through. We'll take that. We'll drill out this piece. Get across the bridge there. And then we'll also maybe tie in because we also have a couple things over here that we could probably tie in as well. All right, so there's another extractor and we got an achievement for connecting five extractors to one singular belt, heck yes. Um, okay, so then we have this guy right here that we can basically do the exact same thing with. Basically try to get everything connected. You know what, let's go ahead and do this. Let's dig this out. We'll connect this guy to here, this guy to here, this guy will just run straight to there. Because I think that'll be a shorter line, I think. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. That one looks, that's a good line right there. That's a good long line. All right, and then this one, basically run to there, to there. Okay, so that's that one. Then we've got one here. I don't know if we have enough stuff for this. I feel like I'm slowly running out of resources for this, but hey, you know what? 
it's totally worth it. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so did we get all of these? Are all of these, like, automated now? No way. I think we did. Look at our prospectors. They don't even know what to do. We don't, because we just don't, we don't need them here anymore. We don't need our prospectors. We don't need workers. Um, I mean, I could, so this is the dusty cameras. I could keep expanding out basically as far as we wanted to. Um, but now I don't really have to worry about it. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Oh, I love belts. Okay. So that looks fantastic. Now, does it say, oh, here we go. Recruited, supported, idle. Look at all the people that are idle. They're literally all idle because the belts are doing absolutely everything. That is so wonderful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So let's see how things are looking up here. Are we all on the up and up? Okay, so we're not. We need ir ironium. And we need some more purified water. Okay. Actually, we have ironium right here. Ironium vein. We've got one right there. So we should be good. Uh, we're trying. I'm trying to get to the rockets. But there's no way the rocket's going to happen today. Um, I had to do a lot of extra infrastructure stuff up top <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. So, uh, yeah, a lot of this building and stuff like this, this is this is taking a little bit of time for us. But uh, let's see. What do we have in here? So we've got that, that, that. I'm not worried about those yet. I'm not even going to build those yet. All right. But we know rocket piece, rocket piece, and the mine shaft. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get... We need some kind of defensive thing right here. Because we're about to pop into this. And if we if we click this guy, look at this. This is a bad area. This is a this is a not so great area. Um, okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a thumper. We're gonna place a thumper here so that way that worm doesn't come across. And then we have a flame turret. But I, I don't know if I like the flame turret. I kind of prefer the grenade turret to be honest. Actually, what's the range on this thing? You know what? Can we just move this one? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just move that guy up there. That'll work. Let's go ahead and drill this out. And can I drill any of this out yet? No. We need. I want to get to the next mine shaft. Okay, so we can get through right there once we're good. Okay, here we go. Breakthrough, buddies. Run away! Oh no! Get him! Get him! Oh no! Did we? Oh no! That's our engineer fixing stuff. What the hell? Oh, that was a flamethrower. I was like, what is that? What's going on here? Oh, we need to unlock the door to get to this guy. Of course we do. Of course we do. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, we've got a gas geyser right here, which is another thing that we just unlocked. Um, Where was it at? Armory. Where were you? Farms. I thought we unlocked a gas geyser. There was some kind of gas sucking device thing that I thought. I could have swore we unlocked, but I don't see it now. Oh, you know what? It's in here. It's a uh, gas extractor right there. So I guess let's go ahead and dig that out. I want to see what this gas extractor does. Then we'll throw a gas extractor in. Once that's dug out. All right. And then let's see. Oh, workshop's too small. Oh, no. All right. One gas extractor, baby. Let's go. Okay, so we've got to figure out where the heck. Oh my gosh, we got to figure out where the heck we're. Uh, our, oh my gosh, there's four this time. That's wild. Well, let's go ahead and let's open this area up and see what happens. Oh, the cave worms. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's creep. Okay, so I need to get a thumper. So that's what the cave. That's what the thumper's for. So let's move the thumper. In here, and then let's see what is this. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're dealing with the creep right now, so they're gonna burn all of that stuff off. Hey, look at that! Now we can actually see where everything's at. All right, and then the uh, the thumper's gonna go here. That's gonna scare this worm off. Perfect. And then let's see. We've got some. We got some bad spaces here. So we need to go across. Oh my gosh, this area. This area looks so bad. Oh my gosh. We got a whole bunch of creep over here. We got some oil. That's nice. Ooh, we got a big fertile area right here. 
This is a huge furl area. That is so nice. So let's see, we're really close to getting um, our yellow cord. Our green cord looks like it's right here as well. And our blue cord looks like it's like right here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get all these mined out here. Take that out that way. We'll go ahead and take this out this way. And then let's see. Uh, or you know what? We're gonna have to build, go this way a little bit too. Okay. Ooh, there's our rocket piece right there. So we got rocket piece number one. Uh, and then we're gonna have rocket piece. Oh, rocket piece number two is way down here. Another piece of rocket, heck yeah. Build defensive turrets. Oh, I just wanted me to build defensive turrets around it. Okay. I'm actually moving my turrets around right now. Oh, shoot. Where's all my, uh, where's my guards at? Uh-oh. All right, that turret is supposed to be building right there. Hopefully that'll help our guys out a little bit. There we go. Then we have a worm here. Perfect. Okay, so it wants me to build two, at least two grenade turrets around the rocket part before we start building. Hmm, hint, hint. All right, two turrets are up. Let's go ahead. Let's exhume this, uh, these pieces here. Do we have eight miners? We have nine. Oh, perfect. We'll see what happens over here. Big fight, maybe. Maybe big fight. This hive is preparing attack. It's sent out hordes of enemies in a few minutes. Oh, joyous. Here they come. Hopefully our uh, our guards yet get over here. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We're losing miners, you're being overrun. You can always cancel the exca excavation. Oh man. The problem is we didn't have our guards over here. I kinda wish there was a way to get our guards over here at the ready too. Right, it looks like they're ready now. All right, we'll bring our miners back over here while these guards are still here, hopefully. Guards, don't leave. Don't leave, guards. No, they're all leaving. You know, I don't think two turrets is nearly enough for this. We're gonna add two more flame turrets right here. I have a feeling flame turrets might help a little bit too. Perfect, all right, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Round three. Let's see how this goes. Okay, those guys can come through. Oh my gosh. That is a nasty looking turret right there. That actually, that was the ticket. Okay, one guy's running away. Two guys are running away. But hopefully our guards will come over here in time. Yes, guards are here now. Okay, guards are still here. Yes, there we go. Oh, those flame turrets are nasty. I love them. These guys are doing most excellent work. I only have two mechanics in here. Are you serious? Where's my mechanics quarters at? Is this my mechanics quarter? Why do I only have two? Oh, no, this is my mechanics quarter. How many do we have now? Five, there we go. That's better. I was gonna say, I was like, where the heck is all of our mechanics at? We only had two. I want another flame turret. I want it like right in here somewhere. Oh, I can't place it. I want it like right here. Oh, we lost a miner. You know what? I might need to get another miner. Let's expand our miners a little bit. Oh my gosh, we are still working on this thing. It's gonna come eventually. <laughs> there we go, we got it. Our next piece. It's getting easier to tune into it now. Like an old radio, you know. Pinnacle. Spires reached far into the sky. Threat. Expansion across the world. Abort aborted. Expansion to the stars. Aborted. Escape to the stars. Aborted. Who knows what that means? This guy is bad. I'm gonna tell you right now, these guys were trying to take over everything and they were trying to get to the expand of the stars. We got the thing uh, yep. we came mm -hmm. for, so we better go find the rest. Indeed. All right, there's another one down. We literally have, uh, we've got one more down here, right in this area somewhere. I think it's like, it's right in here. Basically, we're gonna do the whole thing over again. Um, so I'm probably gonna move these down there once we, uh, we'll go ahead and dig everything out. And I need to find all the switches as well. Did we flip this switch? Actually, I don't think we ever did. No, we didn't. <laughs> we never flipped this switch, that's funny. Flip that blue switch right there. Let's see, did we get this one out yet? And there's the yellow switch. And we'll go ahead and dig out those tools right there. Dig out all the goodies. And then we're gonna need just the green one, and that's it. And then we get the door, and then we get the new mine. <gasps> I wonder what the new level is gonna look like. Oh my gosh, look at all this creep everywhere. They're gonna come in here and burn it. It's gonna look so cool. Burn it, baby. Burn that creep. 
Yes. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Uh, our green switch is still going this way, which is crazy. Oh my gosh, I finally got to this next area. So I tried coming in over here, down over here, all this stuff. There was so much bedrock. <laughs> there was like, well, actually, it looks like, looks like I could have came in maybe from right here. Uh, but I had to go through over here, a completely different way. Uh, up through here, over here. <laughs> it was it was interesting to say the least. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I actually want to go through and mine all of this sandstone out before we get going on anything. Because that's where they all spawned last time. There's a whole bunch of dirt and stuff over here. Alright, so basically prepare this area for excavation and we'll be good. Alright, all the defenses are up. Let's do it. Let's dig it out. So we got um, three grenade turrets and we've got two flame turrets. And then we'll also have all of our uh, guard friends once they get over here after the beginnings. Ooh, I should have had a flame turret over here. Yeah, because that's where they're all going to come from. They're all going to come from right here. Darn it. I should have had a flame turret here and here and that would have stopped them from even coming over here. You know what? Let's cancel the dig. We're gonna move. We're gonna move them over here. Okay. Can we can we clear that dirt out right there? Perfect. We're gonna get this set up much better. <laughs> yes. Flame turret there. Flame turret there. So as soon as they come up, boom. Flame turrets and three grenade turrets will all be launching into this one spot right here. Perfect. Could not ask for an easier. Uh, I think that I think that should work. They're not gonna come from over here. It looks like this is the only spot they're coming from. So. This is going to be fantastic. Let's get into this. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoa. A hive is pair. Uh-oh. Oh, well, shoot. I moved all of my stuff that was over there. Mmm. This is not going to be fun. Do I have anything over here even worth, like, protecting? Do I have... I don't have any gas things. I don't have... Yeah, I don't have anything over... Well, I have a thumper. But they're all going to come from this way to possibly right here. Well, you know what? Let's just see what happens. You know what? Hold on. Let's cancel that before we... Wait, are we good now? They never came. They never came. Oh, I see what happens. They only come on here. Oh my gosh. This is actually... Hold on. This could work out perfectly. Okay, so since they come from right here, this pit... They're going to crawl over this edge. Boom, two flame turrets, a couple grenade turrets right there. I think we'll be okay. We'll see. All right, now we're going to dig it. All right, there we go. <laughs> yes. Come from right here, please. Not come from anywhere else. Just right there. Come on, my friends. Let's go. And there's the flame turrets. It's a shame I couldn't get them any closer. It's because of the fertile soil. You know what? Our guys might be able to deal with them on their own. Oh, not to mention we have the three grenade launchers, all basically firing into one area. And we're good. Look at that. You just take your time, kiddo. Don't worry, Pa. I think I got the hang of it. The enemy is endless. The enemy is endless. Unknown. Unknown. Population. Turncoats. All measures fail. Last line of defense. Collapse. They made the whole canyon collapse to contain those endless villains. Ain't that both a noble and sad tale right there? Oh, man. All right, we've done it, which means that we only have one thing left to do. That is to get this bad boy repaired. <gasps> I have to have 10 scientists? No way. Oh, we have to have 10 scientists in order to unlock the next layer. But that's okay, because that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, uh, scientists are going to happen, and we might possibly get the rocket actually launched. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next one. But uh, until then, bye, everybody.